were the best routes of being competitive in the match to match Rex. I think the ref probably got it right. No VAR, of course, in the National League. And that's the voice of Mark McGregor, former Wrexham defender from the late 90s. As he dropped the ball, Peter Clark seemed to kind of get in his way and cause himself a problem. So, two very near misses for Wrexham in the first seven minutes. He's, uh, he's done that and quite rightly has earned his place and, you know, I'm sure in the next couple of games. Nuttle with the jump, looking for Bas Sambu. League Player of the Year in recent seasons in his Stockport days. Foster just watching that delivery. Yeah, but obviously, uh, just on the attack there, but obviously Wayne scored his... Remain goalless. Yeah, it was a, a great opportunity from the corner. He, he seen his man, he got in front of him and it was a good... As Yanni carries it forward, Foster will come and collect this one. And it's under a bit of pressure from Ellis Chapman. Report. And, uh, a little bit too ambitious from Foster, that was well behind uh, Jacob Mendy, and it's going to be uh, an Oldham throw in. Yeah, go on, Mark. Sorry. It is a little throw in away, but uh, I'm sure it will be only a 40 on uh, Monday, Ben Foster, but of course, have a long trip down to Wilston. Midweek, very heavy pitch down there in a match that they like a bit nervous what was going to happen, but once again, it's the, the place in the main contender for the, the player of the match already. Uh, so, second half, I don't think Oldham used the wind into their advantage, but you know, I'm sure Rexham will come up uh, in the second half. And for Oldham, his delivery in, decent header, and Oldham have got one back, and out of absolutely nowhere, Liam Hogan. Their captain, yeah, it's Wrexham 2, Oldham 1. It's a massive blow. Obviously, uh, Mullins complaining. The standard again, become an option for Wales matches to be played here. It will certainly be quite a sight to see the new bit. Nonetheless, the lift they needed right at the start of the second half. It was, yeah, and obviously... Uh, Peter Clark. Clark's breaking ball forward. Fondop's in a bit of space here. Mike Fondop, with his control rather, lets him down. Ben Foster. You've got the luxury of even bringing him off, but uh, obviously you need to get this, you know, the next goal will be crucial for us and some performance of him today has uh, been all about that. Dolby with the chest down. Pressure off us. The sun has well and truly gone down for the afternoon in North Wales now, leaving us with a fairly clean clear. Fondock gets there ahead of O'Connell, O'Connell claiming a foul, but Durkin suggesting that Foster's in possession that to be achieved in stopping play and giving a free kick. It was Brendan Darren Ferguson scored the winning goal, <laughs> winning goal against uh, Middlesbrough in the FA Cup, which was... Uh, continues to power Wrexham towards promotion. And that's a foul on Andy Cannon. And a Wrexham free kick. Yeah, it's been brilliant. You know, from the first minute, they've been excellent in what they've been doing. Uh, you know, they just need to keep their heads now. You know, no silly yellow cards, no... No red cards, just keep it this James Durkin's going to act. Yeah, rightly so. He's been brilliant all day and I fully expect him to get man of the match. And I'm sure the players that he's playing with know what he's all about and they've got such a good uh, understanding with obviously himself and Mullen. Um, he's brilliant, but... Coy the assassin, and from Coy Poith. Right. He said, no, listen mate, we're not doing this. Uh, hopefully we've 